Me, 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 me. My favorite subject is me, 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 me. Ooh, ooh, ain't got no home. I know play the wrong. Ain't got no home. I know play the wrong. I'm a lonely boy. I ain't got a home. Hello, fair readers of the Delta Bohemian. Greetings in the name of pirates everywhere. I am occupying my own business. Arg! But like the French, I want a gentle occupation. I like thinking, winking, and drinking. Now that's a fine occupation. Where the wines and women's? Hoover want to put a chicken in every pot? I just want a pot full of women's wines and wealths. I am occupying my own business because it ain't making enough money to support me, my wife, my kids, or the good folks of America who have nothing to do with its success or lack thereof. Hell, if we got a business, then surely we are fat cats. I just got to figure out where I'm hiding all that money. Hell, I'm pissed. So I am occupying the DB until I have a reckoning with myself and until it gives me and the rest of America our due. I figure, figuring is what I'm good at. If I occupy myself, then one of us wins. I like those odds. Every producer and business person in America should occupy themselves. Tell themselves to go do themselves and just quit producing and paying taxes until they give themselves their fair share. After it's been filtered through the government's five-finger discount hands, of course. They do know best, those who have never been tainted by jobs in the real world requiring excellence, customer service, and productivity. I yearn for a job with the government where every task is considered noble service to our country. But in the private sector, an equivalent position is considered to be not only void of noblesse oblige, but inspired by the worker's desire to profit at the expense of his non-employed brethren. Yes, give me a noble job, one paying more than its private sector counterpart with no fear of ever being laid off or fired. I am all about service. If it wasn't for the government taking what belongs to others, then how would anybody ever get what should be theirs according to that nebulous, hard-to-find fairness doctrine? And the reason that Guillermo Pobre, that's Spanish for poor William, is reading his occupying speech is due to the government's draconian policy of not providing me and every American, God bless America, with the best memorization software and private tutoring to enhance my learning ability according to my differentiated learning style needs. And they aren't even bringing me my daily free and reduced breakfast with my free and reduced Zing Zang Bloody Mary, just a hint of olive juice, to increase my brain power and help me feel better about myself and my noble occupying vocation. It ain't easy thinking and occupying all at the same time. Jethro the double naught spy Bodine would concur. I call bullshit on the Delta Bohemian. Bullshit, I say. And everybody who has more than me or who has what I want. What is yours is mine's because I want it and it just doesn't seem fair for you to have it if I want it. So I am not leaving until I get mine's, which ain't really mine's. Poor William's been holding out on himself. I will not leave. Unless it's my birthday, I get hungry, thirsty, wet, cold, or Jerry Springer rerun his own, or if Michael Moore, who is the 1%, bitching about the 1%, decides to share his enormous wealth with my no percent fat ass, or I become Randy with thoughts of Magical Madge, my metal muse of most mythical, monstrous proportions. Man, I'm getting tired doing all this occupying. So when I become weary from occupying myself, I will demand that myself provides myself with a comfortable bed, some bone fine loving, a hot ass meal, some more loving, and a host of other Delta delicacies.
<laughs> tickle myself. I'm still trying to figure out if I occupy myself, who has more, me or myself? Damn, all this thinking is making me tired. I think I will occupy from inside from now on. It's not fair for me to not provide for myself what I need even if I don't have it. Let's be fair about it. And I need to provide to others the things I can't even afford because all things that are positive, productive, and produced by risk-taking, creative, hard-working folks should be shared equally. And it is racist, selfish, mean-spirited, and most ungodly to assume that the failures, sleepless nights, and time spent away from friends, family, and hobbies should be shared equally. Selfish cretins, I say. I only want the end product of your labor. Bother me not, you greedy repositories of my wealth, with the difficulties, trials, and tribulations of what it took for you to earn it. Give us what is ours, I say. I have needs, which my government is not meeting. I think it's the 666 Amendment which says something like, Poor William and other nefarious rogues and near bout ne'er-do-wells should never want for anything that somebody else's hard labor, risky investments, and creative ingenuity produced. You work hard, I benefit. That is America. God bless her. May her goodness never end. I sure do hope the government knows where to send my check right here, 149 Delta Avenue, Clarksdale, Mississippi, 38614. And while you're at it, I would prefer cash, Benjamins if you have them. If I'm busy occupying myself or sleeping, just leave it with my wife. She is likely working her ass off to make the DB successful. Plus, she needs to be paying more in taxes because I don't want my check held up because she's getting stingy with her contributions and investment in America. God bless America, God bless me, and God bless you brave souls willing to occupy something because you won't give in to the man by getting something as demeaning and troublesome as a J-O-B. You, my friends, have taken the high road. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing, and you gotta have something if you wanna be with me. Ooh, ain't got no home. I know plays wrong. Ain't got no home. I know plays wrong. I'm a lonely boy. I ain't got a home.